What's up guys, welcome to a brand new video and today is going to be a long day. I have an 11 hour flight to the mother city of Cape Town, which if some of you know, is the windy city in Africa that everybody goes this time of year for one event called the Red Bull King of the Air. <laughs> I will be there filming my friend and a professional athlete, Kevin Langeray, making content for his brand and for his vlogs as well on YouTube. So if you haven't checked those out, check that out in the description below. It's a three month trip and there's a lot of shit that I need to bring with me. So here's a quick overview of the bags and I'll spare you the packing part. Everywhere I go, I travel with these Rip Curl f Light bags. I really like these things because they're a lot lighter and it allows me to get a bit more gear in them without having to worry as much about the weight, solid wheels and a really good frame in the back as well. So I don't have to worry about everything getting squished. I got two of these for my carry-on, this Peak Design travel backpack. It's amazing because it expands and I can fit everything in here. I'll carry all my cameras and lenses in there. One of the things I really like about this combination as my carry-on is the fact that the Peak Design camera blocks fit perfectly in the Pelican case and in the travel backpack as well, which means if you're worried about something getting crushed, you can keep it in the Pelican case and it stays nice and safe. And then if you want to transfer some of that stuff, into the backpack. You just have to pull the cube out and put it in your backpack, which is a big plus for me. I'm gonna just cut to the airport and spare you all the packing madness. So let's go. Made it to Schiphol Airport. Do you think I got enough bags? I don't even have everything that I could have brought, but uh, I think this is a good limit here. Of course, my bags did get pulled and checked, like always, which is why it's really important to be at the airport early. And actually, Schiphol was very smooth sailing compared to the last two times I've been here, actually. So I made it to Cape Town. And as you can see, I rented an incredibly small car for the huge amount of gear that I had. I only got a few hours of sleep, but it's gonna be full on because there's already a cloud up on Table Mountain, which means we're gonna jump straight into some action. Just got to table view and I'm straight back at it. You probably can't hear me right now because it's super windy. We are at Big Bay Surf Club with the riders are doing their rider signatures and they're gonna have the briefing with all the judges kind of giving them an overview. It's looking like this weekend is gonna be good. So uh, I'm gonna get back in there and film some of the riders meeting. Tomorrow is going to be the day of King of the Air. I'm currently just getting all of my gear ready for the madness that's about to happen. Making sure all my lens filters are clean and also making sure that my lenses all have filters on them. A, because having a polarized filter is essential in this scenario, especially when you're shooting right into the sun, but also because these elements get absolutely sandblasted. No matter how well your camera is sealed, there is gonna get sand and salt water into every little part of your camera. And with the C70, which actually has a intake vent here, there's kind of no way of getting around the salty air and sand getting in the camera. One of the worst things is when you go to sell your gear, it has corroded screws and stuff like that. So I picked up these sticky little circles for stationary stuff. I'm gonna stick these where all of these little metal screws are. I finally got everything sorted. Got all my batteries all charged. Everything is in its bag, packed, ready. Memory cards cleared. But one of the most important things I've been trying to do is envision the potential outcomes of tomorrow. Obviously, Kevin has won the thing three times and po podiumed multiple other times there's a very big chance that he could win, but also with people that have been performing at such a high level this year, there's also a potential that he might not make it. So for me, I've just been trying to think through the different scenarios and the different story arcs that tomorrow's vlog could take. Kevin has won it so many times, but yet there are also some really, really, really good riders that are hungry for the top place. That's kind of where I'm at, and uh, I'm tired. So <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. King of the Air is over there. And uh, first of all, I need to get myself an establishing shot. An 
another successful flight. Now I'm gonna go meet Kevin, kind of see how he's prepping for the day. And then uh, it's gonna be pretty hectic here. The essential first stop for merch. Now that it's a little bit more chill before the chaos hits, this is the setup here. We have the judges tower here, and you can pretty much go the whole length of this um, beach here, but in between these two buoys, kind of here and here, is the riding area. What we're gonna have to contest with is right now the sun is directly overhead, but as the day progresses, it's gonna kind of end up over here, which means that if you end up shooting kind of from upwind, you're gonna be shooting right into the glare, which is gonna be quite tricky because if you shoot this way, you kind of get a good idea of the distance that they're covering. If you shoot from upwind, you'll be by the riders, which is good, but you're gonna be kind of shooting out to nothing. If you're downwind, you get to get the iconic Table Mountain in the background and you get them landing, which is always awesome, but you're away from where everything is happening. So all of the rider interaction with the coaches and stuff like that, you kind of miss that. That makes it quite hard for a one-man shooter. There's a lot of running up and down the beach if you want to get both angles. So I'm going to have to assess it as the time comes, but to try and get a variety of shots whilst maintaining getting the shot is going to be tricky. But above everything, the most important thing is just to get the shot. This is what inevitably happens to oil gear that is left here. Caked in salt and sand. Kevin's heat didn't go so well. He was eliminated first, but it doesn't mean that he's done in the king of the air. He's got another heat in the next round. So we've got about an hour and a half before he goes again. Quite sad, really. He's like the first one out of three to be eliminated. But he's come back from that before, so there's a chance he might come back again. In between, I'm taking this opportunity to upload backup footage and uh, get started on the edit. Everything is just coded. I had these visors. This thing is already absolutely caked in sand. camera on here that is it for the king of the air kevin didn't make it through to the finals but i mean honestly the level has gone through the roof and the kids are like crushing it this year the kids that made it were all under the age of 20. i am completely sandblasted salt and sand is everywhere on all of my gear on all of my bags even the stuff that was kind of hiding under the tent i'm going to put myself in the shower upload some of the rest of the content and clean off some of my gear. Look at that, oh my lord. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe if you feel so inclined. I'm knackered, so I'll see you guys in the next one.